This is a no intro, no outro, right? All right, let's run it. Let's run it. What are we running? The Whiskey Sour Hour. With a K. That's your nose. Blow your shit out. Ready? One. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, 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 so. What's wrong with Whiskey on a Wednesday? What up and welcome to this week's episode of the Whiskey Sour Hour. I'm Half Hero 7, aka The Movie Martyr, and here with me, as always, my man Simon. Simon. AKA Saman Almighty. Yes, sir. And this is an episode that I've waited a specifically long time to do. You know so why? So hi. Do you know why, though? <laughs> why? Because you came up with the topic for today's I episode. I did. I told him we needed more it's ranked. Long waited, actually. This was a topic idea I had early in on the in the wet work. In the half quarter. For like season two. Season two? And you, you didn't even um, tell me about this. Or season three. I don't know. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. For sure. Well, I told him we need a more ranked episode. Season. He said we can rank the top five Medicine. good and the top five bad habits of ourselves. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that was implied. But no, that's a good it wasn't topic. Implied. Oh, I, didn't, I implied it. I implied it. But yeah, it's implied. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's a good question. Is it up to the person receiving the informa- information? To Fuck, okay. assume the implication, or is it up to the person giving the information to direct the implication? What do you say? Ooh. Implication of what? He likes those big words. Hopefully, we'll hear more of them today. How do you want to start this? This is crazy. We got two lists to like yeah, knock through. Bro. You want to go five to one? I definitely want to do that. You look like you're looking. <laughs> I'm just seeing where we're at here. Okay. We're not at anywhere. We haven't started. I'm asking how you want to do this. You want to go five to one? You want to go one to five? You want to start with the good? You want to start five with the bad? Five to one. Okay. Start with the good. Start with the bad. One being like, on the bad, it'd be the worst. Yes. And then on the best, it would be the best. Yeah. Uh-huh. But worst or best first. <laughs> We're working there. I'll get him there. Come on. Worst. Okay. Worst first. You or me first. Meaning. You first. <laughs> okay, that means that means that we'll end on your worst habit. I'm fine with that. Me first. All right, that's <clears> very actually. Top five bad habits. Uh huh. What do you have? Number five. Keep in mind Number that we're working five. down, up, up, whatever. Sleep schedule. Sleep schedule. Okay. <laughs> I think I might have like passed. What did you say? Biasly See, put that on there. See, sleeping off schedule just randomly is not efficient yeah. enough. Like it's. You feel like you don't get enough sleep out of your sleep schedule. No, I get enough. I get enough. But it's you not just consistent don't like enough. when you go to fall, when you go to sleep. It's not consistent enough. Like I'd be on those shoots, right? So then last week we had night shoots. Yeah. I'm still like flip flop schedule from that. And I feel like everybody else that was specifically on that shoot is fine by now. Why is he smelling his drink like I put something in it? You gotta check that guy. You poured your drink. Yeah. <laughs> but. No, I was just giving it a smell test. A little smell. Um, but you know what I mean? Like. For sure. I feel like compared to the other people working, they got back onto their regular schedule quicker than me. I see their Instagram posts going up earlier than mine in the mornings now. Well, and it's only been like a week. But still, I feel like my sleep schedule gets in the way of things. That's kind of how I judge my list. And I'm sure as we break it down, we'll kind of break apart how we put together the list. But that was my thing. I don't uh, like. <laughs> I don't like getting off my sleep schedule, and I feel like I get off it. Too much. Sleep schedule. What's your number five? So my number five, kind of similar to yours. I said never making my bed in the morning. Okay. I have a question about your list, but go ahead, explain it a little bit. I would just say it's a bad habit. Not like necessarily saying it's bad if you don't make your bed, but I feel like. It's a better habit to have to make it instead of leaving it undone. And people say it's a good. But I've first always thing have. I kind morning. of been always like a never, like, you know, do my bed unless I like feel like doing it. But like make it like a necessity fact. Yeah. So just like improve your, you know, day to day. I mean, yeah, it's people say it's a good first thing to do in the morning. Like you get something off your yeah, off your checklist get it done. right out of the way. But, but it's good. I feel like yeah. But I'm curious though. So with your list, how much do you think you would improve your life if you started making your bed every morning? Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Really? Okay. Maybe, maybe not, but I think it'd be good because I want to start running in the morning. Start running after you make your bed? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that was like completely unrelated, but it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Eventually. No. I want to be the morning jog type. I would have put like morning routine or morning person or like, you know what I mean? Because it's like morning building better morning. habits that'll that'll make. If I had the habit of a good sleep schedule, it would help me out a lot. Like that's yeah, I want to like, yeah, have better morning stuff. Which my... Number four. I put name game. I'm terrible with uh, names. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but I'm talking about my... Terrible with names? I might be the worst in the world with names. Wow. I meet people two or three times and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's their name? What is their name? Like social media helps uh, quite a bit, but then it gets you twisted. It gets you messed up because then you be remembering their username. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You think you're pretty good with names? Nowadays. I I rely on you most of the time, like for business stuff. That's something decent. I don't know. I just can't do it like that. If you introduce yourself to me, unless there was some like, Oh man, that dude Brian, he did some crazy uh, shit on Saturday. I don't know what I don't know what he would do. Okay. I don't I like I, it has to be something crazy, but if he didn't do that thing, that crazy thing, then I would not remember his name. He would come up the next time and I would know that I know him. I remember what he I, oh yeah, we were over at that dinner party and blah blah blah. But I would not remember like his name. I'm terrible at that. And I feel like as a habit. You really, really need to like develop that if you don't have it. Don't, yeah, yeah, bro. Know. What the heck? I don't know. I'm trying. Get it you, together. You you got to get a better attitude towards mine on the, the on the last three because you're not you know take my side. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. What's your number? My four? number four. I said being ignorant about going and keeping up with the health checkups, like dental and vision stuff. <laughs> being ignorant. Yeah, like keeping up with this shit. You know I don't have no though. primary doctors for like a long ass time. I haven't gotten like a checkup, yeah. yet, which I will. But I say that, but it, I don't know. This never happened. Did you go back and see? And I need to. Do you go I back? I did. My shit's good. You went back though. Yeah, man. She said last time I, I was there, she was like, "You need to go see it." Oh my god, we are. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. Not Who for that. She, she said, "Clean up." She's like the over exaggerate type. Uh, Dennis, don't describe her that way. What? She's enthusiastic. <laughs> you know her then. Hey! The same person no, works on our like, team. Hey. Hey. You know. Her. Yes, the yeah. same person works on our team because I specifically asked. She said, "Who recommended you?" And I said, "My friend, Mr. Mom." She said, "Oh, I think, yeah." Mm. <laughs> the first time I went, it was like some other dude, but she was cool. Um, but they're good. I would say that that's not the most uncommon bad habit because I know a lot of people already do the same or like they I basically don't do the same. Like yeah, I put it on my number four. But I did. But do you, why do you think it is? Is it a scheduling mom, thing or is it? There's no reason. There's not really an excuse that's so. going to be good enough to be like, oh. But no, yeah, I just no. need to do it. It's a matter of just doing it. Scheduling it out. Maybe it's like a subconscious. I don't want to know. Nah. <laughs> nah. Do you have a theory on why like our generation kind of stopped going? I think it's cost partly, mainly, but cost. I mean, I have health insurance. I mean, I pay for my health insurance. No. Yeah. But I mean, you gotta use that shit if it's worth it. You know, not <laughs> think up to you but get your checkups in at least you 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 should get a checkup but i at the same time do feel like the whole don't uh don't get too paranoid because you know at least when you're a kid i said but when you get older i would say like keep up with it obviously it's not like we're not i think it's anymore i would say at our age you should keep up with it as much as you're gonna keep up with it when you're in adult. Yearly at least with the like check Yeah, I mean like And then like if anything happens you feel I forget he's a young spry twenty five, bro. Once you hit twenty six and you start You know, I stay active like fitness wise, so if like anything health wise with it 
happen, I would notice. When how far? How far can you run? I'm not, I'm not like a runner, but <laughs> if I had to, he's a runner. He's a track star. I don't know. I'm not. Much, I don't like running. I don't either. I only ask that because I do like I know. a half marathon. Ooh, that's far. You understand? That's like how much is that, bro? It's got to be like thirteen something. something miles. Is it a half marathon? Marathon's like twenty six point one. I could be pulling that number out of nowhere, but you know what I mean? Something. So then you think you could run well? They're not running the full, full time. I feel like I'm running, yeah. I don't know. I think I can do it. I thought we were in the same boat. You, were, you If I, I had to train for it, but. How do you train, though, just running? It seems hella boring to me. Yeah. Build endurance. You a treadmill runner? What do you do? Nah, do you do cardio I don't like train, or no? I don't even do cardio. I need to. Fool doesn't do cardio. And he At all. I don't touch any marathon. cardio, bro. He doesn't touch cardio and he thinks he's going to run a half marathon. Yeah, it's not good. You either underestimate the marathon or I need you to do more cardio. Yourself. I do abs. That's not cardio. And sauna. That's not and cardio. cardio. Cardio is like running, right? Yeah. What else? Cardio, biking, biking, cycling, uh, stair climbing, stair master, and that shit. That's cardio for sure. Shits. Why is abs not cardio? Or yeah, why burning is burning calories, right? I mean, yeah, but like, <laughs> it's not all but, cardio. I don't know. Endurance on the heart. The heart. Endurance on the heart. It's all got endurance on the heart. I don't know. But it ain't all cardio. But I do cardio. All right, Simone, you ready for number three? Yeah. This is the big one. What you got? You want to take a guess? You want to take a guess? Nah, go ahead. You really think you can't? Uh, But just say. I'm going to ask him at the end what he thinks wasn't on my list, and I might bleep it, but we'll see. (laughs) He, okay. Smoking. There you go. Yeah, smoking. Right. Smoking kills, though. No joke. Puts and it at three. I, hey, you don't know how bad my number two and one are. Hang on now. Uh, Hang on now. So, yeah. Legitimately, okay. though, smoking, like, I yeah. wish I never started. I wish that um, they weren't as easy to get as they are now. And, like, I wish that, like, the ads uh-huh. in school had it worked. Because I remember health class when I saw that. And I was like, <sighs> like, okay. But my whole thing is, preferably of the things that I do and don't do of my habits like it's you see some of them are things that I don't do so like I, I don't remember people's names but some of them are things that I do <laughs> I think that is the third worst thing if I could change that top tier human being top tier human being Un- undebatable undecided undisputed mm-hmm. need another unword undercover Damn, Ooh. fuck, dude. What? How does that compare to your number three? Were you gonna, what were you going to guess? Something related to that, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I would say my number three is sleeping with my contacts in. Fuck. You still be doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Just be late at night and he be falling asleep. Yeah. He knows it. LASIK. No, you don't. Yeah. That's terrifying. I'll do it. No, you know what they do? Yeah. Ugh. I've seen it. You'll be like, Ugh, I'll don't be looking no. at it. That shit hurts. You'll be like, yeah, Straight you're doing flat. good. You're doing no, it's laser shit. Where do you think they shine the laser? It's somewhere in your eye. Mm-hmm. They cut a flap in your eye. Just yeah. open that flap. What if you sneeze? What it's if you? Achoo. <laughs> what? I didn't think of that. I didn't think about that. You gotta think these things through, dude. Like I'm telling you, sneeze right there. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Laser was super still. I didn't still. think about that. Laser did his job. Sneeze on the laser. You just do a little itch like you do. Maybe they have your shit like nosed up. I'm sure you're like bolted in, but I'm just saying like. A little bit could go a long way. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Who no, sneezes know, like that? Is that how you sneeze? But you sneeze is going to have like reaction. Yeah. But whatever. I don't, I don't sneeze like that. Same with contact in, no. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> I want LASIK still. Fuck you. Interesting. When did you get contacts? You wore contacts before I wore glasses. 
Uh, I think it was like uh, sophomore year. High How school. bad was your eyesight before it? Was it sophomore year? No, freshman year. You didn't have contacts at all when you lived in Texas. Yes, I did. You got, oh, you did? Okay, for that one year. Freshman. Mm. Saturday of eighth grade, I'm pretty sure. It was in between. Okay. Well, I just remember when you started getting like blue and shit. Yeah. But do you think your eyesight's gotten worse since you've got contacts? It got, it's all right. I think mine's way worse now. Like, without the glasses than it was. Because I can't imagine like, no, I, watching a movie. I can't really do much without them. Watching a whole ass movie. Like, could you watch a movie? I can't do much, no. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. But we were watching movies before. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it was bad, bro. Like, when I was in kid, I, I couldn't see for shit in school. Mm. That's why you started? School? And then... Yeah, I can't Mine was to shit. drive. <laughs> Low key. Yeah, <laughs> Made it through all the... Front, <laughs> I, I can see the board. I had to squint and shit. Yeah. Squint, squint thing. Asking Miss Everly, what's it say? Miss <laughs> Everly brings her up every time. There's a reason. Um. So that was my number two. What's your number two, sir? That was your number two. That was not your number two. That was my three. That was your number three. My number two is routine oriented. Now, you would think, I'm mixing it up a little bit. What? It's not that I am not routine oriented. It is that I am. No, that's my good habit. I fucked it all Stupid up. Idiot. Alan, hit him with the news. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> No intro or outro today. Um, firstly, I bite my tongue. It's a bad habit. I, I, I was looking at both lists. It got confusing. I know. I thought we were gonna. It did do... sound off when I when I heard it. I thought we were gonna do good before bad, but some of mine are like number two things that could be positive, that could be negative, blah blah blah. But bad habits, number two, overthinking. Overthinking, yeah, he does. I this figured man. you might be happy to hear that one because that's probably the one that on the list most affects you. I think the overthinking. I think because you're involved in several things that involve us, I think it comes most to play in my R&D meetings and like when we're storyboarding stuff. Yeah. Because the problem is I think about it so much beforehand to where I feel like I'm on step 10 of it when everybody else, that's what the point of the meetings are for. Like that's why I schedule the meetings. Like the goal is to come in fresh, but I feel like it's almost impossible for me to come in fresh sometimes because I've thought about it like every which way before. And not that I haven't like thought of you guys' opinions too. Like I'm like, well, I know, you know, I've known you for 17 years. I'm like, Swan yeah. probably would like this, like this would look cool. Like, but yeah. then by the time we get there, I'm like mentally drained by the idea of it. I feel like sometimes, yeah. <laughs> depending on the thing. So if I could yeah. turn it off, I think it'd be better. It definitely affects more shit than anything else on the list for me but who knows how does that stack up with your number two my number two because now we're getting to some pretty heavy hitters like this should be the worst things that we do pulling out my facial hair is number two Ooh, that is terrible i thought that might be his number one ski hold up are we i mean that you yeah, told him I but like but I like you guys it. notice how fresh shaven his beard, his beard, his mustache looks like. No, mine. I like sat and plucked these. I know, but your beard looks lower down too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta quit doing that, bro. Fuck, you man, I know. You get the long ones, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I plucked these. Do you? I would plug them. Do you uh, think that there's like a the, a further? track than that like did you do anything before you had a beard because like some people not like, really no crack their knuckles wide nah being there doing nah. their thing like i don't know some people just fidget they just like it it's just a new thing that he started doing but it's true it's not <laughs> chill actually it's not i'm trying to grow it out man. it's part of your culture i feel like part of your rate like you got big beards like yeah and then he pulls i pull it out 
<laughs> and then I pulled it out. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it could be it could be it's like, like I'm not, yeah, it feels twice still the size right. of mine. Could have been more filled, like you know. For sure. You feel me? Could have the mustache still. I was gonna say you can grow a better mustache than me, but yeah. Then a lot of people actually. I would try it out if I could. But I just I can't. I can't. I just can't. I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> My number six bad habit: growing a mustache. You know how sad that is? You know how many people tell me you should so, yeah. grow the mustache in with it? And I'm like, you act like if I couldn't do that, I would. Like, what are we talking you about could. here? They're like, why don't you connect it? And I'm like, I can't do that. You know that. You know how sad that is. I your full beard. You know how sad that is. But I like to pull it. But it's a shame, actually. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. All right. Are we going to number one? Your number one. My number one. Ooh, we have to end off with yours. Yeah. Indecisive decision making. Oh my god! What a shitty ass. Habit. What is shitty ass number one? No, that's nah. like the worst thing Not ever. Indecisive. Do you know how bad that is in combo with number two, good sir? Nah, it's number one. So I'm overthinking, <laughs> but overthinking. I'm indecisive. And so, he's indecisive? I'll, so I'll be like, I, I decide I feel like this. You know, but then you. By the time I get to y'all, I know. Mm. By the time I call you. Mm. But a lot of times when I first call you and mm. I'm telling you the idea, mm. that's me being like, let me tell it to Simone and see if this finally sounds right. I'll yeah. see if it sounds right when I tell him. And then when I tell you and you're like, all right, bet, depending on your level of like enthusiasm towards it, like today with the shot, I'm like, so I'm going to do this. And do this to it. What do you think? And you're like, I'd watch it. I'm like, all right, bet. Like, done. But if your reaction had been like, yeah. what if you do this? Then I would have been like, I need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> like, yeah. I need to wow him. Like, you know what I mean? Not that I wouldn't yeah. take your advice to go into it. I'm saying like, but if you can see production holes in it, yeah. I would have been like, mm, no. All right. Like, change. Okay. And so like, I overthink I everything. And then it's, because I'm like indecisive about how I want to do certain things, whether it's fucking topics or where we want to go eat, what do you want to do? I'm fucking, I thought about it yesterday. That's how it, like, you think you overthink how much we want to eat? I thought about my suggestion yesterday. That's why I only have one. <laughs> Is your mind blown right now, or are you just looking at yours in comparison? All right. Nah, mine, you already said, but my number one was smoking. Oh, damn. So, comparatively, I have like. I have smoking. What is. He's like trying to not Mr. stop. Well, but Mr. Accountant, what is your. What is 2% of five? 2% of five? 2% of it's like 2.2. Damn, so you're saying I got like 2.2 2 times. 0. 0.1. 2.1 times. 0.1, actually. What? 2% of 5? Yeah. Yeah, 0. 0.1. Okay, well, you're saying that's how much more bad habit I got than you. That's only number three on my list. I'm not trying to stop that, man. I'm not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not so I put number one, yeah. Um, do you... Yeah, we started young. It, it was stupid. Should have chilled out, but... It's not even just that for me. No, to me... I like it. I like the ambiance of smoking. But they say that, that oral fixation comes from a lack of motherhood. Whoa! No, nah, not lack of motherhood. Whoa! Is that true, or are you just fucking with me? It's something mother-related. Dude, that's fucking wild. Because I was about to say, it has nothing to do, like, I am not, I can get the water vapor vapes and be fine. No problem. Water vapor vapes? I'm saying, like, th those are those satisfy. It's the fucking yeah. <sighs> inhale exhale. Yeah. Oral fixation. That sounds yeah. so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. But is it for real? Are you? Yeah. Damn. It is. Holy fuck. We might have to Google that during the break or some shit. Cause yeah, you can see it. I never knew that. That's wild. What's your reason then for it? <laughs> Mine? <laughs> yeah. I like to. My one's like right up the street. I like to smoke too. <laughs> I don't but. know. That's a terrible plug for the pod, but it is a bad habit. And we're going to try to break them all. 
Yeah. You want to give us like a time frame on it? We don't. Seclude. Next 10 years. Keep up with us for 10 we don't years. Seclude to it. You'll see us break the right. habit. You got yeah, 10 years? We break on? habits. All right. Sending habits. All right. Uh, how do you want to do this? You want to hit him with like a boom, boom, transition or some shit? And then we'll get into. That's your transition move? Yeah. How? What, what was that? It was a slight little. That's like, kind of like what I do at the end of that. You feel me? Stop hating. You look good because <laughs> my bicep was like in the way. <laughs> Top five best habits. Best habits? Good habits? Okay. Good habits, best habits. Good habits. <sighs> How do you want to do this habit. one? You yeah. want to start this one? Yeah. Starting with number five. Yeah. <clears throat> I put optimism slash awareness. Awareness? Okay, I'm shocked, but continue. Constructive thoughts, divine purpose. That's like just a lot of random words. Like, what is that? <laughs> like, what do you mean? That was my number five. So say it all together again. <laughs> so, okay, so pretty much what I'm saying is good habit overall is the awareness of your own thoughts of having, you know, Having good, constructive, positive, driven thoughts, you know, that push you towards a different reality that you're striving towards and what you believe is what you become. And you got to sit down and do the work, man. You got to do it. It was a bit better the second time. Yeah. <laughs> it so it's sense. about, you know, using your mind as your friend and not your enemy. But it is. So do you know the word for that? Developing mindsets that will. That's not a word. Cultivate. If I tell you the word, do you think? Competitive. Tell me if you think. Competitiveness. Driven. Compet. What? Driven. Driven. That is the word. Driven. Yeah. <laughs> the word you may be searching for. Look at the definition real quick. I, just I don't need see. to. You don't need to. Come on, bro. Driven. For you me. You know what it is. For me. Is you're driven. You're pad. Yeah. Passionate. So, I don't know what it means. Thoughts. I don't know the definition. I was so curious. It's, yeah, to you got to develop that, man. We weren't like taught how to like think good. I don't know. I feel like my parents did a pretty good job, but I do feel like I see where you're coming from in the sense of they like, did all right, but you can always do better. Well, yeah, <laughs> there, there are things that weren't out or like weren't aw they weren't aware of it when they were growing up because they didn't. Because they things. had their own things. It, well, there's it's knowledge that wasn't there. Like think about it, bro. Yeah, Therapy man. and stuff. I mean, therapy, I don't think it's necessary. You know things about the brain that we didn't know back then. That's what Yeah. I'm uh, you know that there's things like PTSD. Got you. Our grandparents didn't know that. Yeah, Sucks. we got a lot of stuff now. Sucks, but we know. What's more. your number five? Mm, clean and organized. Clean and organized? Yeah, I would say he is. I would say he's clean. I'd you know, say he's organized. You know, I don't know. It just helps a lot. I try to look at it's things. I say it's pretty good. I think that's why I fucked up the list lit earlier because I was like looking at both of them because it's really things that I'm not good at that prevent me from being better at things and then things that I am good at that keep me good at things. And like being super organized, the calendar, you see the calendar, yeah, I mean. Super organized. It helps. Detail oriented. It helps. And then when people miss their date, I'm like, sure. see, see, it's right there. Got Very the receipt, clean. print it, Very print it, but on top of it, yeah, yeah. Most okay. of the time, I, I think that it helps. So um, that's so kind of how I'm looking at the good list. Number five, okay. Things that help the most. It's a most. good start for years. I respect it. What, what well, helps you the most at number four? Mine is reading a few chapters throughout the week. That's why I included recent, but I do keep up with it. Yeah. Okay. Reading a few chapters throughout the week, man. I think it's good. Uh, it's good for your brain. It's good to you know gather other knowledge, gather different thoughts from other people. Your books come in? What book? And did you order a couple? Yeah, I ordered a couple a while back. Do they come I've in? been cracking up into them. Okay, what have you thought so far? Great. <laughs> Great. I'm very Great interested. Great experience. You know, I keep one on my desk at work and I read. Yeah. You know, at, at lunch. Yeah. I and, think it's um, interesting because you're reading a lot of nonfiction. So yeah, the, yeah, nonfiction only. Not when like people fiction. start doing that, they tend it's to decent. figure out one of two things. I ordered things. Art of War. They tend to Sun figure Zoo. out 
Yeah, just say the last one. Uh, Sun Tzu. Um, that third. Read people like a book, Patrick King. Yeah. So when people read a lot of nonfiction, they do one of two things. They either learn about the world and come up with like yeah, opinions. Yeah, that's the point. They come up with opinions about that. Different you think that's mindset, the point? Yeah. Some people. Different mindset, different perspectives. The second thing, some people read it. And I think it's a it, good overall motherfucker. Some people you can read learn it different words and learn things speak. about themselves. Yeah, learn about that's themselves. The yeah, you develop. I just didn't want you to be like, that's the main point. And I'm like, no, mm. I didn't know what you said exactly. Well, because I wasn't done, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 okay, so okay, I'll I'll take over then since he's cutting me off. I'll say my number four. Yeah, give him your number or, four, man. Get to the yeah. point. <laughs> Get to the point. He says, "What is this?" This attitude. <laughs> is, it, is it just my turd or what? Is yeah. it? Okay. Um, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> number four. Let me explain this one so it doesn't get twisted. Okay. Self-sufficient. In the sense that. Self-sufficient. And I'm not just saying, oh. Self-sufficient. I'm saying I live by myself in the sense that I got to do things yeah, yeah, by sure. myself. Yeah. So. Self-sufficient. Going to a movie Hello, alone. Yeah. Or if you want to like go to get lunch or dinner or some shit alone. Alone. I can, I can do that. And I feel like some people our age not only comment on the fact that that's weird, but I know that they couldn't do that or they would like be weirded out mm -hmm. by it. And that is super beneficial to be able to go do because you meet way more people when you're alone. It's hard to walk up to two people. You yeah. meet so many more people when you're alone. Because people are like, oh, this motherfucker waiting for somebody to talk to him. Uh, right. But you go and you just, you know, whatever it is, eat dinner at the bar. Yeah. You're at, uh, you know, traveling a lot. You got to think about it. There's a lot of alone time. So it's like, you know, I think that that's a good habit to be able to. True. I don't think the habit should be being alone, but the habit should be like being self-sufficient. That's self -sufficient why I was worried sure. it all weird. Yeah, you should be able to like. Not Get yourself have together. To have, not have to have somebody else. Pick up your after you. Yeah. Wipe your ass. Pick up after you. That's a big one. <laughs> I can right. tell what you want somebody around to do. Yeah. What's your number four? Or are we doing it that way? Three. Your number three. I Smart lost ass. Calm, guys. Sorry. <laughs> doesn't know his number. Come on, doesn't know my number. I count it, correcting my number. All right, so number three is mm. good habit. I put. Always looking for ways to improve and level up my character. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's a good habit to be in. So that's what I'm saying. Same, it relates to, you know, picking up on the reading reading aspect, picking up on chess, developing different skills. I don't know if chess was a good addition to our character. Yeah, <laughs> chess is a good addition to your character. Okay. Because it's competitive? <laughs> it's competitive. It teaches you responsibility, you think? reactions, problem solving. <laughs> He's just been ways a sore in it and level up my improve. And I mean, say improve. Yeah, I say it improves your IQ. Like I said, I don't know. Does uh, it? I would say so. Yeah. Well, then the only reason I say that problem solving. I'm not it. saying you, like IQ. If not, you're really good, yeah. If you're really good. You probably have a high IQ, high IQ. I would say it I'm relates to higher IQs. I'm not saying there's not correlation. People would agree. I disagree. Yeah, people would Here's agree. Here's the question. Like, oh, most people would be all oh, chess. Oh. Don't you think that if that Who was the, the fuck case. Who knows how to play that shit? Don't you think that if that was the case, that more IQ tests would have like a chess move on there? <laughs> like, get out of this. You know what I mean? Is that nah, crazy? it wouldn't. What do you mean? I, I'm i saying like, okay, the things that put make a up game your IQ. On a test. It's still a game. We never said it was like a test. Of, I know. That's what okay. I'm saying. Though. The things that make up your is, IQ is like math It and could stuff. correlate to higher IQs. It could correlate. I don't know. Being good at chess, yeah. Yeah, correlates to higher IQs. Do you think Albert Einstein was good at chess? He was. Do you think? Uh, <laughs> what was his opinion? He all played. They all play chess, man. You think Oppenheimer? It dates back into like, who knows? Like you think the, Oppenheimer was good at chess? Possibly. Okay. Bill Gates played. 
I don't think you're going to want to play another game of chess against me after I open on you the next time. I'm we'll gonna, see. I'm going to open with that Harry Potter open. But yeah. stuff like that ways to improve <laughs> just in general. Oh, man. He won't see it coming because he hasn't seen Harry Potter. I'm going <laughs> to give him that fucking uh, Philosopher's Stone opening. <laughs> Might have, right? <laughs> but okay. Also, Habit number three, because I know you don't do this every day. Cook every day. You cook every day? For sure. At least one meal. I don't cook every day, no. If it's not breakfast, it's lunch. If it's not lunch, it's probably breakfast. But mm. sometimes I'll do dinner. He cooks. I'll just be honest. I like meal Mr. prepping the dinner. It's not chefing it up every day. It's just like yeah. Some days I will do the meal prep. I like doing meal prep for dinner. Yeah, I haven't been meal prepping like I used I like... to. Like a lazy ass. <laughs> he texts me. Th- no, we were on the phone. You said it on the phone. He goes, "Oh, you're still doing that?" And I was still like, "Still doing what? Meal prepping." That's what it was, right? Or I didn't the say that. It was the smoothies then. Because you were like, oh, you're still doing that? You keep up with that shit. And I was like, why would you stop? Like, uh, if you have a routine type thing. It wasn't routine. It should be. If you buy the protein. I didn't buy the protein. Oh, I did. And you were like shocked that I kept up with it. I was like, of course. I'm not going to let that shit <laughs> I got like a two-year supply. Like, no. come on now. But the oats... No, the gladiator. I've been eating oats in the morning, though. That's yeah. routine, if you make them every day. Been doing it now. Or you make it for, like, a couple of days and you do it. That's routine. No, hot oats. I just time. think, Hot like, oats. So how do you make those? How do you... Mon taught me how to do it right. <laughs> what is he doing? I had the pack of, like, 10, like, the small pack. Of, oh, you dumbass boy. He's the the Quaker Oats protein one. I saw that in the story. That one does have more protein. Other ones only have like a few grams. But it has better fiber and shit. How do I cook that? You cook it hot. How do I put cook it in it a hot? bowl. In a just bowl. flavored. Oh, no. That's sick. No. I'll put flavoring. Oh, I got this shit all over me, G. Yeah, you can do fruit or something or like syrup. But I just pour this in like a bowl and then fill it up with like a, like fill it up. With milk and put it in the microwave. And then put it, I was like, at what point is it getting warm? So mix it up, like a little above the oats with milk. Okay. And then microwave it for about a minute or so. I like mine a little thicker. Mine likes it a little looser. It's up to you on preference on the milk. If you like it more thicker or looser. I like it thicker. Same. Yeah. Um, Okay. So I think that cooking every day is great for your health. I think it's great for it's good for your, your morning routine. It'll wake it, you up. I think it's great. It'll wake for... you up, but I don't think you should be eating breakfast like that. What do you mean? But it's cool. I still eat breakfast. And eating that, breakfast. I, That's I mean, the most important meal of the it's day. It's not a lesson for it's cap. Whoa! Are you kidding? That's what gives you nah, the fuel to like get it through doesn't, the day. It doesn't. Good old coffee, some eggs and bacon. Just coffee, you'd be straight. Lies. Yeah. Cavalry. And then eat lunch when no you're like way. absolutely like can't bear the hunger. That sounds atrocious. And like somebody who doesn't live at home, like working, what am I, 25 feet from the kid? I can just walk over there and make some quick eggs and bacon. <laughs> no, no, no. I no, can't I'm bear so the star. I'm starving. I'm like, I'm just go eat. Uh, why not? I'm just go eat. I think it's good to train yourself it's a little right bit. right there. You want like, some ice cream? Why or not something? fight the okay? hunger a little bit and be a little fight the hunger? Yeah, why not suffer? We a are not bit? like starving. Like a man, like a, a suffer and starve. Like why does a that man? have to be quick and easy, man? Oh my! Why do you? Why can't you? Oh at least my! Hunger yourself a little bit. Let your body eat at the fats you have, and let it go in your excess inventory before you eat again. You're right, Swan. Cooking every morning is a bad habit because eating breakfast is too much and we should starve ourselves like real men. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead with your... What Not number are we at? starve yourself. What I number are we at? I was fucking with you, but... <laughs> what number are we I at was, now? I was just fucking giving you shit. <laughs> All right. Routine-oriented. That's my number two. I already ruined this. I put so discipline and perspicacity for number two. Perspicacity. Say, <laughs> say it again. 
with you, Mr. Vocab. Go, go. I said discipline and perspicacity. Perspicacity. What does yeah. that mean? Perspicacity. Ready insight into things. Keeping aware. Because it kind of goes with awareness, but keeping up, paying attention. The shit I like, though. Yeah. But overall, though, keeping awareness aspect. But discipline is a big one for me. Like, kind of ties with number one on my list. But just, like, developing shit, habits that you know sustain you over a long period of time hmm. okay doing shit you don't want to do but you know you have to do it because it's your duty to do them Sound like serve, another guy. But serve perspicacity serve for the perspicacity yeah man. Perspicacity. paying attention what do you think the Where plural we, is like you would be like on perspicacious per- um, now i know who said it <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> oh i, I knew i knew it i man. knew it was you deep down in there you gotta be compendiousness. <laughs> Just Google perspicacious and quote. <laughs> Seriously. Perspicacious, man. You gotta know what's going on. Yeah. As a whole, stay aware, see ways, just think outside the box type shit. It's a good habit, man. And discipline, man. You gotta develop discipline. I don't believe in motivation, man. You know, you got to put systems in place, get your shit together, hit the gym. I don't train every day, but I have a rhythm for it. I believe, well, I believe you should have some rest days, but in my workout, but I'm saying discipline to some sort of aspect. You know, I've been working out for years, man, almost a decade in. A decade? Yeah. Hitting the sauna and shit. I think I want to sit in that hot ass sauna for 20 to 25 minutes. I don't. And suffer the heat. Yeah. No, I don't really. <laughs> it's cool sometimes, but I do it anyways. And then I hit the cold shower. It feels nice. But uh, do I, yeah, I don't really like going to the gym as much as I used to. But I still do it. It's I still like it, but I don't like, I'm not like, oh. Oh, He's it's dedicated. so joyful. <laughs> He's you know? dedicated. But yeah, it's dedication and discipline. And then I want to f- further on my physical trainings into other uh, realms of fighting, maybe. Okay. Fighting? Yeah, so I could destroy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that took a weird turn at the very end. I was like, <laughs> anybody who would try to test me. Who's testing you? <laughs> who are you? You've been alive 25 years. Who the fuck has tested you? <laughs> no one's tested me at all. Not no. yet. Not yet. No one's if, tested but me. But if yet. they do. But if they, I would be prepared yeah. for any circumstance okay. <laughs> of any endeavor, I'll be ready. And then fierce. I'm just trying to figure out, like, you haven't, gr- we didn't grow up somewhere where you getting <laughs> tested on the street. Like, where were you, where were you getting But I feel on? like it's the right thing to do. do you, I don't even think anybody intimidates you in the office. Like, what are you talking about? You're working nah, with a bunch of women. Nah, nah, it's they a bunch don't. of girls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing And then you. Twan, and then Twan is like, for a game. <laughs> Can't compare. I'm just trying to, like. Square up in the streets, like not that you couldn't, but like I'm picking, like okay. I'm just picturing a point in time when that would have had to happen. Like you never know, bro. <laughs> Down in Little Rock, bro, that night got crazy. <laughs> you never know, bro. See, oh, you got to be ready. You gotta be ready. Okay. Well, or test yourself, man. You ain't test myself. To get, you wouldn't get in the cage. What cage? Or Are ring? you talking like MMA, UFC? Nah, fighting? fuck a cage. I wouldn't go MMA. Nah, boxing. Would you get in the ring? Like boxing fighting. Yeah. That's you, different. You box that was me? for like sport. Would, would I you box bo- you? Yeah. 100% I would box you. You would box me? You don't understand. You, you, are, have you, you, tra- ever, you have go you ever train? trained? We'd train and then box. I don't need to train. I've already had training. You've you had trained? training? Nah. I would rely on my roots. Wow. I would get somebody to like remind me of the steps that I knew, but like. No. I think I'd be all right. Interesting. If I train though. No, nah, dude, you forget. I was small. Dad and granddad taught me how to box. Like they were like, train. this kid, this kid's gonna get his ass beat. <laughs> but I think I'd be all right. It works. I gotta build we, for it. 
I just need to build the skills. If we do that, we need a Patreon. But I want to. i would probably get a gym. If we do boxing, that, we need a, a fucking... membership, and I'd learn. If we do that, we need an OnlyFans. Watch me now. Hang on now. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. OnlyFans. Have you said your number one? No, nah, it's supposed to be your number two, right? Uh, you already ruined it because I'm routine oriented. All right. I already said it. Go for it. Number one's fitness. Fitness. Yeah, you should have been way smaller by now. Bro, it is genetics. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you seen me at my fucking quote unquote swollest, right? Swollest? Right? It was a few years back. Yeah, don't make me pull out the picture, but you, I, I seen the you know picture. what I'm talking about. We know the picture. That's me going every day. <laughs> I stayed at that consistently. What was how much weight? One, 140? At your like max? 145? What do you I'm, now? No, that's when I was at my fittest. I'm saying, have I ever weighed more than that? Yes. But I'm yeah. saying at my fittest, when I looked the best, yeah. and everybody was like, oh, what have you been doing? Yeah. Asking the workout yeah. routine. I did that shit for two and a half years straight. Two and a half Didn't years. change more than two pounds either way. Damn. I'm talking through holidays, vacations. What the fuck? Like, no. Damn. Not worth you it You weren't training hard Waste enough. of time. Waste of time. You didn't train hard I was enough. going up in weight. All of you were trying to get bigger? You think I was trying to lose weight, Simone? <laughs> no, I was trying to get fucking... The skinnier. I was trying to get like a, a hourglass figure. No, nah, I was trying to get was fucking funny. thicker. And it worked. Like, I got to that point, right? Yeah, but Where yeah. I was at, and it stayed there. And I can Could've get to bigger. that point that I was at. Could have got bigger. No. How much do you weigh? Right now. Right now, 135. I'm telling you, there is if a... If you get to 160... I would... Do you understand <laughs> how different I would look? At 160? I'm not saying I wouldn't be happy. I'm not saying I wouldn't be. But what I'm telling you is, do you understand? Two and a half years. It's 30 pounds. Two and a half years for two pounds. No, no, no. For seven pounds. Because I only fluctuated. But you could have been, that was like two years ago, but you could have been up by now. Two more pounds. 144. Could have been up more? No. No. That's ass. That's ass. It's so not you, worth my so time. So you'd rather be skinny? I'd rather be skinny and fucking like sit here <laughs> and do the stuff that I've been doing. Then be obese, yeah. Because you, you got to also keep in mind, when I was doing gym all the time, look at the company that I was but doing. Still, I think you need to do something more. I know you said calisthenics, but... We go three days a week. We don't go heavy. We don't go hard. You better be able to do some muscle-ups within a month or so. Hang on a second. Can you do a muscle-up? Me, nah. But I've been doing a lot of... So you say that and you can't. We can go down there right now and I'll fucking show you how to do one. That's hilarious. Dude's full of calf. You got to keep in mind, I I weigh less than you. I could probably do one. I just don't know how to do I haven't exactly. tried because I didn't have the room to do it. Oh, you don't have the room to do it. Nah, I just haven't done uh, it. Yeah. Talk about I've been doing a lot of someone pull-ups. who hasn't done one. I've done a lot. You I just like got to keep in mind, I weigh I, a lot I, You less. say it, but I haven't seen it. To, I, Let's go do one. Let's go do one. I weigh we a lot less. go do less. it in this outfit. I'm saying I, I was in an appropriate ish attire, but I, I, I weigh a lot less. Clean. <laughs> But, but no, I can do it. To me... I can pull my body weight easy. To me... It's just a form of getting over it. You gotta, like, pull out. It's it's different. Kid, I know how to do one. But what I'm asking is, kid. why is that the best <laughs> habit that you have? That's habit? I'm not disagreeing. It reflects into... Wondering. You build so many good traits, qualities from it. Oh, yeah. That's the number one form of just, you know... I think it's the other thing. Self-respect and self-worth. Yeah. Is to have a good physique, man. You can't buy it, like you said. I went for two years, but you know, you never know. But people do it for years on out. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to say to you guys. I really don't. I was saying you should. You act kept like going. I don't still go. I go three days a week. But my point is, like, yeah. I don't personally like. My dad is gone. Yeah, four days, five days out of the week for that, life. I'm not saying. Yeah. Think about how many years my dad is gone. Does he look like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Nah. No. I'll bet you if you ask him, he's. You think I will? I don't know. <laughs> but my point is, he hasn't gained or lost more than ten pounds in the past forty-five years, bro. Yeah. So like, it's one of those things where I'm like, that's where I'm gonna be at. That's what I want to hit. Regardless of whether wow. I got back up to 
45 or 40 or 35. You I, want to start cycling? No. No? no, 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 no. Not going to No, like that outside. Out. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Dad did that for years. That's why he's saying that. But like, fuck that. That's too much. But I just want to get to that level where it's just like, you're just maintaining. That's all. Me? No, what, what he's doing. Oh, uh, he's, yeah. It, he's you're just it. maintaining. And like, that's where I'm at. Yeah, for sure. And I get what you're doing. That. I totally get it. Wow. But like, for me, for the best it. time thing, what I get out of the I, gym and what I get out of quote unquote fitness as a habit is. Because yeah. I only go the same amount as you though. What days do you go then? I only go like three or four times, but mainly just three. You don't go on the weekends anymore? I didn't go last week. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Three, but, man. It's intensity. But bro. I'm not going as hard or as long as I, I, like I guarantee you. I guarantee you I'm not going as hard or as long you gotta of a time be intense, as you bro, are. To the brim. I just think I that it it's much. important for the other things. It's like with the cooking one that I said. Like, it goes into but fitness your... Fitness relates to, like, different... I did jump in. Go but... ahead. Whatever you're going to say better be good. <laughs> God damn me. Now he put it on the spot. But you develop different uh, habits, characteristics, yeah. as I said before. And it, if you do, if you develop a good body, you develop more mental resilience. Helps and the mental. Rather helps the than mental, the man. Yeah. Push yourself to different barriers, man. Yeah. Like, like people could be going, you know, longer than you. They could go for like eight years. No, oh, well, I mean, and yeah, not dude. change. Look at my dad, forty years. So Maybe it's how they're working out, you know. Yeah, it's so. about intensity of the workout. But I was gonna say it's like the other and rest is what I'm saying. Not like not going in there like trying to kill yourself. <laughs> He says that because one dude told him to rest. <laughs> who said to rest? Was it not, who do you, who have you been watching lately? Ain't no Hodge twins no more, right? Me, I don't watch workout videos. Oh well, Hodge work. twins are the dudes that are like twenty four hours, twenty four hours. No, nah, not twenty four. You don't need that shit, no. man. No. You just need to stimulate the growth. Alan got quick kicked out of the gym for like no. going seven days in a row for too long. You don't need to go that much. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Yeah, but I'm saying the overtraining is a real thing, and then you him. can like do more damage on your shit. Ooh. Yeah, overtraining is a real thing, man. It's unnecessary. Get one of those popping, popping. Get your hurt and shit. Oh no, I think it helps. Yeah, I wouldn't really do the same, but I got bigger for sure. Immune system, all that other stuff. I think it's good. That's why I need to do the meal prep, like you said, so I can start eating free meals. You were doing it. Yeah. That's what you said. Oh, you're still doing it too. Meal prep. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, why the fuck would I, why would we stop? I, just ha- I stopped for a long time. Mm-hmm. It's embarrassing. But the goal is to like figure out the three recipes that, or you can't, not, bulk, you can change um, the recipe. I'm trying to bulk up, man. I don't know. For the winter, bro. <laughs> 200, bro. Maintain 200. 200. What? That's you, not even that hard. You hear that ghostly noise? Like 190. I'm saying, but you act like 200 pounds is going to keep you warmer than what 190 would. You know what I mean? Like muscle. You just go, you oh, I'm going to be so 20, cozy. 10% muscle. For so gotta, when? Because like know. winter is coming. I don't, really put, I don't really have a time frame. I just do it. You don't really. And I increase as I go. Anymore. Unless I take breaks, I kind of like cut back, obviously. But if I've been on for a while, then I obviously go hard. Increase weight as I progress. Uh, yeah, man. Like, what do you think this is? <laughs> the whiskey sour hour. I take it serious. Serious as hell. Yeah. Well, I'm serious about these questions, but we don't have much time left. You want to like rush through them real quick? Yeah. What do you got, man? Rapid fire questions. Uh, rapid fire. What's one habit that you thought was gonna be on my list that wasn't? Uh, that was on your list. And that was bad or good? Either one. Uh, that was good. Keen to eye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keen to eye. Keen eye. What the fuck yeah. does that even mean? I'd say like you have an eye for things. Yeah. I knew what you meant, but like I, I was going to put it, but I don't think it's like my top, yeah, top, 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 was... top, 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 like five. But um, I definitely thought for sure. I don't know. I thought you were going to say something about chess. <laughs> Wow. I thought it was gonna be like one of the habits in there, like chess. I don't know. 
Um, let's see, rapid fire. Uh, what's one good or bad relationship habit or habit that you've seen in past relationships? A past relationship? I don't know. That's what? I don't know, good or bad habit. Um, mm, moving in together too early. That's hilarious. Mm, communication. Communication. It, da, 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 da. Ooh, this is a good one. If we were at a restaurant together and I complained about the food, I'm like, ah, oh, bro, my food's not the best. Yeah. This is not the best food. And then the waiter comes up and they're like, how are you feeling? I'm like, ah, I give him that face. I'm like, mm. why you can? Are you gonna tell him for me? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. This food's shitty as fuck. So you wouldn't be mad if I told them for you? I'd be mad as hell. No, nah, I wouldn't mind if you told him if it sucked. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> if uh, you have anything else, I shouldn't enjoy it. I that. don't. You don't? Okay. Well, then I should have just ended no. like that. No. What? I do have a question for you, actually. Okay, then we need more time. Uh, then nah, fuck. Nah, nah, we're running well, out. You gotta tell me now. Nah, we're I running out of time, all the extra bro. time. They My heard mom's the, on the phone. They heard the beep. The money's calling. Bro. The <laughs> money's gotta... calling. <laughs> That's not a good enough excuse. I'll say one like, um... <laughs> it's not good as fuck. What time is the it? We got a movie coming. to catch. How about that? Okay, uh, <laughs> Holland, tell them what it the is. Whiskey Sour Hour. Uh, that's right. Check us out at Whiskey Sour Hour every single platform, every single week. Links will be in the description down below along with the spot to hop into Discord. And please, please send your questions, serious comments, or concerns into whiskey at sourhourpod.com so you can be featured on a future episode. We want to thank you guys so much for your time and we really hope you had as much fun watching as we did making this week's episode. So much fun. Always remember, make it a double. Um, my number two bad habit. Number two bad habit. What did I say? What did I say? Hey, my sass, number boy. Uh, it's, it's kind of, it makes sense. No. <laughs> uh, All right, come on. Hang on, I gotta get back to my list. All right, redo that then. I'm going to. All right, good.